it's been very difficult to treat symptoms of agitation and aggression in patients with Alzheimer's disease when they develop these symptoms. Antipsychotics are commonly used, but the trouble with them is they, are, they can be toxic and there is an FDA black box warning because there's increased mortality associated with the use of antipsychotics. The other medication in a control trial which was shown to have an effect was citalopram, which is an antidepressant. But even though there was a slight improvement in symptoms, it prolonged the QTC interval on the cardiogram and it actually lowered cognitive performance on the mini mental state exam. So there's a need to find some new medications to treat these symptoms. We began a study funded by the National Institute on Aging to compare the low dose lithium to placebo in the treatment of agitation in patients with Alzheimer's disease. Now, lithium is generally not used by anybody other than psychiatrists and the main reason for it is that it's a difficult drug to use since higher doses make uh, a person toxic with tremor, seizures, very rarely death. And chronic use causes problems in terms of kidney function and thyroid function. However, it remains the gold standard treatment for patients with bipolar disorder. Uh, it's highly effective there. And so, there, because of these problems with toxicity, there's been very little prior work in patients with dementia of any type. There are a few case reports. We were interested in using lithium because in addition to agitation, we see a lot of fluctuation up and down in terms of the symptoms that patients with Alzheimer's disease develop. And so we collected some uh, pilot information. We treated uh, a few patients with uh, lithium, but we used a very low dose. And we knew that the low dose would be safe because lithium, although it hasn't been tested to treat agitation in Alzheimer's, it has been tried to treat the cognitive deficits and memory loss of Alzheimer's in a couple of studies with equivocal results. But the useful thing about those studies was they used doses which were about one third of what's used in young adults with bipolar disorder and they found almost no side effects. So because of that, we decided to use that level of dosing. So we use oral doses of 150 to 600 milligrams a day, leading to blood levels of around 0.2 to 0.5. That's our target. And in a pilot work, it really worked well. So now we're doing a placebo controlled trial and we've, we are targeting 80 patients across four sites. We've now reached 50 patients. So we're close, we're not, we're more than halfway towards the target. Hopefully we'll reach it. I'm very familiar with the other drugs in development. Uh, I should state that I actually consult for one of them. But each drug that is in development belongs to a completely different class of drug. So there's nothing similar to lithium. So even if they are effective, it is very unlikely that any of these drugs, including lithium, will be effective for all patients with agitation. So this will increase the choice and obviously, since lithium is generic and very inexpensive, that would be a factor.